In this video, we're going to learn about cross sections and nets. And both of these concepts have to do with three dimensional solids. They're both two dimensional representations of something happening with a solid. So first let's talk about cross sections. Now a cross section is what you get if you take a solid and slice it and then look at the face that is the result of the slice. So for example, right here we have a pyramid. So what if you imagine slicing it exactly in half horizontally to get the horizontal cross section? Well, when you did that, you'd actually end up with a rectangle, which you can sort of see right here, that if you were to slice it right here, the two shapes, solids that remain, would have rectangles on the top and on the bottom of the other. So the horizontal cross section is a rectangle for this particular pyramid. But it's possible to take another cross section and cut it a different way in order to get a different shape for a cross section. So the horizontal cross section was a rectangle. But what if instead we wanted to think about the vertical cross section? So if you were to cut it straight up and down through this center point. Well, in that case, you would end up with a triangle. So that would be this shape right here. If you were to cut it exactly vertically through its top point, the apex, the cross section would be a triangle, as you can see right here. So the idea with cross sections are they give you some sort of sense for how the shape is made, but it's not like one solid only has one type of cross section. So it's important to realize that. So for example, this pyramid has at least two different cross sections, a rectangle if you cut it one way and a triangle if you cut it another way. If we started to take diagonal cross sections, we could get even different shapes. Now the next thing that we want to talk about is a net. And a net is what happens when you unfold a solid so that it's two dimensional. So if you imagine that the solid was built from all these different polygons and you just unwrap it and flatten it out, that's what the net would be. So we can draw a net for this pyramid. There are different ways to do it, but the way I visualize it is that there's this center part, that's the rectangle, and then attached to the rectangle on all four sides are triangles, which when folded up, make the pyramid. So if I was to draw the net, I would have a rectangle, that's my base, and then off of each of those, I have a triangle. And what you should be able to imagine is that if you cut this out and folded along all of these edges, you would end up with a pyramid. And so a net is a really nice way to be able to visualize a three-dimensional shape in two dimensions on a piece of paper because it gives you information about all the different faces so that you could figure out the area of all the faces, for example, and lets you think about what it would look like when you folded it up to make the actual solid.